Taxonomy organises organisms into groups called taxa, and these non-overlapping groups allow for the study and identification of organisms, and an internationally accepted system of naming organisms. Taxonomy is based upon phylogenetic classification and takes into account evolutionary relationships. The eight taxa are hierarchical, i.e. the taxa are arranged in order from the largest to the smallest, with no overlap. Therefore, organisms can only belong to one taxa at each level in the hierarchy. For example, so here we have the eight taxa arranged by size, from the largest to the smallest, beginning with the largest, which is the domain. Kingdom fits into the domain. Phylum fits into a kingdom. Class fits into a phylum. Order fits into class. Family fits into order. Genus fits into a family. And a species belongs to a particular genus. So as an example, we can see that the domain, the largest, could be eukarya for the eukaryotes. Kingdom could be animalia. Phylum could be arthropoda. Class, insecta. An order, hymenoptera. Family, apidae. And genus could be apis and the species, mellifera. So as we can see here, first, organisms are sorted into one of three large groups known as domains, the eukarya, bacteria or the archaea. For example, Apis mellifera is eukaryotic. Next, organisms within a domain are further organised and are placed into a kingdom. For example, Apis mellifera is an animal. Therefore, it is placed in the kingdom Animalia. From here, the animals are further grouped into phylum. For example, Apis mellifera belongs in the phylum Arthropoda. Next, organisms within a phylum are grouped again and similar organisms are put into a class. For example, Apis mellifera belongs to the class Insecta, and class will be grouped again into an order. For example, Apis mellifera belongs to the order Hymenoptera. Hymenoptera, or orders, will be grouped again into a particular family, and Apis mellifera belongs to the family Apidae, which are all bees. Family is finally organised into genus, and for Apis mellifera, the genus is Apis. Genus is a category used to classify very closely related organisms, which then brings us to the final taxa, species, of which there is only one. For example, Apis mellifera. And mellifera is the species part of this organism's binomial name. The binomial name or two-part name, this internationally accepted system where all organisms are given their scientific name. The first part of which is the genus, Apis in this example, and the second part is the species, Mellifera. So Apis Mellifera, commonly known as a honeybee. Now genus and species must always be written in italics or when handwritten, they must be underlined. And you are often asked to identify genus and species in exams and to define the term species, which we will cover in the next lesson.